Hey guys, it's Sigur Ro and welcome back to another Uncensored Eats cooking video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how I make my seafood boil in a bag. But before we get into this video, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Tag a friend to tag a friend and hit the notification bell down below so you can be notified each time I upload a new video. So let me show you guys what I have here in front of me. I have some corn, some snow crab legs, some mussels some shrimp, some crawfish, all my seafood were cleaned up and they're ready to go. I have my uncensored dairy-free sauce right here that we're going to add to our seafood. I have some butter right here and I also have an oven bag. So you're going to need another container, a bowl, something that you can put your bag over to help assist you in putting your seafood into the bag. These are the oven bags I bought. You can buy these anywhere. They're turkey size. I bought the extra large bags because of all the seafood that's going into my bag. And these bags can exceed 400 degrees. So we're going to start assembling our seafood. My oven is at 375 degrees. Our seafood is going to cook in the bag for 45 minutes to an hour. And I'm doing my seafood a little bit different today. If you haven't seen my video on how to make my uncensored dairy-free sauce, please check the description box down below and you'll find how to make that. Like I mentioned before a bit earlier, I'm making my seafood a little bit different. I'm actually cooking my seafood with the sauce versus cooking my seafood with a more dry rub season kind of method. So let me get started on assembling our seafood so you can see what I'm talking about. First, you're going to need your bag and your choice of seafood. Next, I'm just going to start assembling all my seafood into the bag. Now that we're halfway through, we're just going to add some of our sauce to the bag. The reason why I am cooking my seafood with the sauce is because I want it to slow cook with the seasonings with all the flavors of the different seasonings that it's in my sauce and that will heighten the seafood flavor a bit more versus making the seafood with a dry rub and i'm just going to add the rest and we're just going to add three tablespoons of butter At this stage, if you want, you can add more obey, more creole, more seasons if you'd like. I am not adding any more seasons to it because the sauce is well seasoned and it's bursting with flavor. So I'm just going to take the bag and I am going to, careful not to pop the bag, and I'm going to tie the bag. What you want to do is you want to kind of shake up the bag just a little bit with the sauce and the seafood in it and the butter. I'm trying not to break the bag. So voila, this is it. And we're going to get ready to put our seafood in the oven. All right, so you'll need a pizza pan or a sheet tray. You just want to put your seafood into the tray. And we're going to start cooking our seafood up now this is going to be in the oven for 45 minutes to an hour i'll see you guys in about an hour all right guys this is what our seafood boil in a bag looks like some bags may get really extra puffy and some won't if it's extra puffy don't worry it will deflate the longer it sits out of the oven like this is starting to deflate already so my seafood boil looks good Let's open this up and see what it's all about. Wow, look at all that goodness. You can see all the juices it's secreted along with the little sauce I added to it. Look at that. But I got to get ready for the mukbang. So until next time, guys, it's Sigur Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.